So we're here in Akihabara today. This is kind of like the big geek anime crazy zone. There's some kind of giant egg or something. <laughs> Ben's being our tour guide for today. We've met a lot of missionaries, we've been to school. Tomorrow we're going to be playing in a church uh, called New Hope. But today is our first day of like real downtime. Uh, so we're just taking some time to look around Tokyo. left Akihabara now, which is kind of a crazy place. Um, feels like a real escapism thing, like people are trying to escape into this virtual world of games and anime and arcades and just crazy stuff. Uh, so we're now in Odaiba, um, which is kind of a big tech zone and just an amazing place. Sunset right now in Tokyo, there's this huge bridge, as you can see in the background, huge bridge over here. Statue of Liberty, they moved it from New York, it's now here. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to uh, come on this Japanese trip with Jonathan, really. Um, I don't know a whole bunch about Japan, really. Um, I've never really been much of an anime fan. Uh, I don't like sushi. Many, many people in Japan have never even heard of, of Jesus um, at all. Heard nothing of the gospel. I, I found this out and I was um, massively shocked, really, that um, a country as um, modern and as exciting and as uh, fun as Japan could be in, in a position where they haven't heard the gospel. So really, I felt like I wanted to come and just meet some of the guys out here, meet some of the church leaders, the missionaries, organisations, and really just hear what, what they're doing for Jesus out here. And um, I didn't really know what we'd get up to really, or um, what God was going to do, but I just, I felt we needed to be here. So it's been great the last couple of days. We've um, met a few missionaries, met a few organisations, just sort of plotting, scheming, just seeing how rivers and robots can fit into the picture, how set sail can. But my kind of hope really with these vlogs and things is that as you watch them, you, you begin to get a heart for the nation of Japan really. And maybe it's something you can pray about or maybe it's something that you can come over and um, help out in Japan and just see, see God just um, turn the nation back around for him, you know? But yeah, I'm having a good time. Okay, today is Sunday morning and we are playing at a church this morning called New Hope in Ocha no Mizu. Um, this guy JP is a friend of Ben's and uh, he's been in Japan now for quite a few years and uh, has invited us to come and play at the youth service at New Hope Church. So, um, yeah, we're going to be playing a couple of songs, Ben's going to be doing some DJing and uh, it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to seeing a Japanese church service, I think that's going to be really cool.
concert is about Jesus. But God didn't create you for death, He created you for life. Life comes from relationship with Jesus. A story that starts with humanity bringing shame on our perfect Heavenly Father God ends with Jesus Himself taking the shame of humanity upon Himself so we can be set free from any shame. I will count to three, and when I get to three, I will simply ask you if you want to come home for the first time or you just need to rededicate your life to Jesus, I ask you to stand to feet. One, two, We had a good time at New Hope Tokyo and uh, we just had some food in this restaurant with this big crew and uh, we had a great time again awesome to connect with people over here Ben shared the gospel and uh, yeah quite a lot of people responded I don't know exact numbers but so awesome so so awesome so uh, yeah pretty exciting <laughs> Uh, JP's taking it. Ah. Okay. JP, you want to get another one? Yeah. I'll find another one. Oh, All right, so we finished up at New Hope tonight. We're uh, come out to the Tokyo Dome, explore around here. This is a big arena, baseball stadium. So we had a great time at New Hope tonight. We know of at least two or three that were definite first time commitments, which is incredible. And uh, just so special to see that kind of thing. And the other thing I loved was hearing people worship in Japanese. It just always gets me when I hear people worshiping in their native tongue, especially in a place like this. It's just so cool. And uh, I think one of the things we're looking to explore in the future is, um, you know, working with worship leaders and people writing the original worship songs in Japanese. And so, uh, yeah. A lot of cool stuff happening right now. Just having an awesome time. I guess we're one weekend now, halfway through. Maybe. Is it gonna? Yes. Feel that. That's tight. Gonna get a burger. Set <laughs> sail. <laughs>